Hi besties, I'm Gabby. And I'm Zach. And today we're gonna do one of my favorite things. We're gonna play some games with our friends. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. Today, we're playing one of my favorite games. This is Sneaky Snacky Squirrel. Yay! In this game, we have to spin the wheel to see what color acorn that we need to get. And whoever fills up their entire tree stump first is the winner. But if we get windstorm, oh. things might get a little wild. All right, <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Okay. That's green. Use the squirrel. The sneaky snacky squirrel. Good. Green. Green acorn. How cute is that? Good job. That was easy. It's got a little acorn. All right. Uh, Good job, sneaky snacky squirrel. All right, my turn to spin. Yay. Oh no! Windstorm! What does that mean? What's gonna happen with the windstorm? Oh! <laughs> Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna get a little wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now spin the wheel. You got windstorm! Now it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get one of any color. So yeah. now I'll use the sneaky snacky squirrel and I'm gonna pick yellow. Ta-da. Yellow. All right, go ahead and spin, okay. Gabby. I'm hoping to use the squirrel. One, hooray, I get to pick another one too. I'm gonna go with purple, because it's my favorite color. Oh, <laughs> purple's a good color. Oh, you're having a little trouble. Oh no, the squirrel just wants it all to itself. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get it from the top. Oh man. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's a tricky uh, acorn you got there. That's perfect. Okay. Thank you, squirrel. My turn to spin. And you got oh, one. I got one again. That's great. All right. I'm going to get this red acorn right here. Here we go. The red spot. Yeah. Here we go. Green. Green. I don't you don't have, have a green, green yet. That's great. Here. Okay, you're getting better at using the sneaky snacky squirrel. Well, he's I holding on to those acorns I really well. Haven't done yet. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> he's really holding on. <laughs> all right. Yay! All right. I did it. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna spin now. My turn. Let's see. I got purple. purple. Yes. Purple. I don't have that one yet. Okay. Excuse me. Other acorns. Sneaky Snacky Squirrel needs a purple. Oh, man. I'm getting pretty close. Uh, we're not tied Ooh. anymore. I have three. I, that means I only need two more, and then I win. Oh, uh, I hope the weather <laughs> forecast is a windstorm. <laughs> you, you spin with the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel? I really like the squirrel. Wow, it worked for uh, you. Blue. You got blue. Excellent. Yes. Excellent form. All right. I really hope. <gasps> Yay! What? I get two of any color. No. Which means I need a green. Oh, come on, green. There's one. nothing I can do. You you just have to watch me win. <laughs> green and a blue acorn. You've got all of them. I've got all five acorns, which means. I win. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, thank you, Sneaky Snacky Squirrel. I guess because I win, that makes me Sneaky Snacky Zacky. Mm -hmm. That hey, was fun. Look at that. What? what it's is a it? wind storm. Oh! I love playing games with my friends. Me too. And now it's time for the Creation Corner, where we'll get some clues about today's Bible story all about the best friend ever, Jesus. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. Today, we're gonna decorate a scrapbook page to celebrate our best friend, Jesus. This will help us remember our Bible story. For decorating our scrapbook, we'll need some pictures, a glue stick, some stickers, and some crayons. 
First, we'll add the pictures of today's Bible story. We'll use the glue stick to glue the pictures in order. That will help us remember the story. The order of the pictures is Baby Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and Jesus in the temple. Let's glue down the picture of Baby Jesus first. Now the picture of Mary and Joseph. And last, we'll glue down the picture of Jesus in the temple. Once you've glued down your pictures, you can add whatever stickers you like or even use some crayons to color and write something amazing about Jesus. Awesome! We'll keep working on this scrapbook to remind us how amazing Jesus is. He's the best friend ever, and today's Bible story is all about him. Everyone stand on your feet. It's time to jump into the Bible. One, two, three, jump! Come and see Jesus, the Son. This is Jesus. Hey -o. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room in the inn for him. After Jesus was born, his mother, Mary, Hi. and her husband, Joseph, took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. There was a man named Simeon who loved God. God has told Simeon that he would meet the Savior before he died. When Mary and Joseph arrived at the temple, Simeon was there. When Simeon saw Jesus, he took him in his arms and blessed him. He knew that this was the promised child who would save them all. Mary and Joseph were amazed at his words. There was also a woman named Anna in the temple. When she saw the baby that Simeon was holding and heard all that he had said, she gave thanks to God and told everyone that the Savior had come. When everything had been done as God commanded, Mary and Joseph went home to Nazareth. <laughs> Jesus grew up. He became strong and filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for a festival. When Jesus was 12, come on, they went just like every other year. When the festival was over and Mary and Joseph were traveling back home, Jesus? Jesus? Do you know? Nope. Uh oh. They realized that Jesus was not with them. Uh oh. Come on! So they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. This, oh, his name is Jesus. I haven't seen him! They searched everywhere. Jesus! 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 After three days, they found him in the temple. Jesus was sitting among the religious teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Jesus! Hey, Mom! When Mary and Joseph found him, they said, Why have you done this? We've been searching for you everywhere. But Jesus said, Why did you look for me? Didn't you know I would be here in my father's house? Huh? But his parents didn't understand what he meant. So Jesus left with them. See you later. Bye, Jesus. And came back to Nazareth, where he obeyed them. Hey. Here you go. And he continued to grow in wisdom and favor with God and man. I love that Bible story. Me too. And now it's time for super speed trivia. So everyone stand up, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to show us what you remember from today's story. Super speed trivia. Where did Jesus' parents take him? To the temple or to the grocery store? If you think the answer is to the temple, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is to the grocery store, stomp your feet. Jesus' parents didn't take him to the grocery store. That's right. Jesus' parents took him to the temple. 
Who thanked God for Jesus? Olaf and Sven or Simeon and Anna? You think the answer is Olaf and Sven, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is Simeon and Anna, stop your feet. Olaf and Sven didn't thank God for Jesus. That's right. Simeon and Anna thanked God for Jesus because they knew that he was the savior that they were waiting for. Where did Mary and Joseph find Jesus? Disneyland or the temple? If you think the answer is Disneyland, clap your hands. Or if you think the answer is the temple, stomp your feet. Mary and Joseph didn't find Jesus in Disneyland. That's right. Mary and Joseph found Jesus in the temple. He was listening to the religious leaders and asking questions. Awesome job, everyone. You can sit down now. Today we saw that Mary and Joseph found Jesus in the temple, in his father's house. Jesus is the son of God, and he's so amazing. And even though we all mess up sometimes and do the wrong thing, Jesus came to earth for us. He came to be the savior of anyone who believes in him. That's right. And Jesus loves us no matter what. That's why he's the best friend ever. I have so many cool friends, like all of you. But Jesus is my best friend. Hey, I think we just got our big idea. Jesus is my best friend. Let's say that together. Jesus, Jesus is, is my, my best, best friend. friend. One more time. Jesus, Jesus is, is my, my best, best friend. friend. Awesome. I think we should all celebrate Jesus with a little dance party. Everyone stand up and dance with us. Hit it, DJ. Yeah.